Here's one of the first fully assembled HyperFlash 32 carts. And pick this up. It's got a default label loaded on it right now. Uh, black, very nice, kind of shiny, so it attracts uh, fingerprints, unfortunately. On the top here, I got my SD card. Go ahead and pop that out. And push that back in. USB port. Uh, really nothing on this side. There's that really nice Onyx printed frame. Uh, just looks good. Um, back side. Uh, kind of a throwback to the existing carts here. I got my buttons. I'll pull off. There's the connector. And what I'll go ahead and now is I'll go ahead and plug in a battery here. I want to make sure it's on. So into the USB port. And I'll trigger the uh, thank you screen first. And I built this in just to uh, give a thanks to people who have helped out. Uh, my family's on the first line uh, because of the suffering they've been through for this program. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of uh, Planet VB members that have uh, really gone above and beyond uh, to help me out on this program. So now I'll go ahead and hit those two outside buttons to uh, enter the on-screen mode. And this is to program this flash cart without any PC. So you never have to plug it into the USB except for power if you want. You don't need a computer. Uh, this basically displays whatever you have on the uh, SD card. And I'll go ahead and hit that enter button. It starts flashing. And you can see that icon that's loading as a progress bar. That's game specific. And then it loads the label as uh, some of you have seen quite a few times now. I'll go ahead and pull this. And it retains the label based on what ROM was programmed. So that's the uh, neat thing about the, the e-ink display in this flash card. So there you have it. Uh, came together really nicely. I'm uh, really proud of this design. It's unique in many, many ways. Um, so it'll be exciting to get those to people. Uh, thanks.